I think we need to work on more footage besides dumping our tanks. Well, we finally did it. Both these tabs should line up, and then this lock fits right inside that tab. And we're dumping again, and it's raining. Um, I think there's a theme here. I've definitely been very wet these last several days. I think we need to work on more footage besides dumping our tanks. <laughs> Certainly doesn't feel like the end of May. Well, what I've done is a lot of research. In the event that somebody decides to steal us, there's been a rash of trailer stealings and stuff like that. Kind of did some research as to what the best lock is. These are a little bit expensive, but um, for the most part, though, no. these are pretty robust. Can lock your chains with it. You just have to enter. You have to do them like this so that they fit in there. Put the ball up there, put the hatch down. Put the fins in. Both these tabs should line up and then this lock fits right inside that tab. And you just push the lock in and she's locked. If somebody really wants it, they're gonna take it regardless of what you put on it. So. But this gives us the best chance. Now these locks are a little bit different. It sits in a square, so you're not gonna twist it off as easily. The trick to these, to lock them, you need to turn the tumbler. So now it screws down tight so that you can't get anything in between there. So the other ones I use, they're really similar to the other ones. I got a Gen Y hitch, and they just came with straight pins. So what I'm using is to lock that ball, because otherwise they can just walk off with my hitch. These, okay. Why don't you just take the video and quit picking at it? It's going to be regardless and putting grease on it. So the hitch pin just comes off. Again, it's got a square mount and it actually embeds itself into the body of the lock. And then you screw it in until she's tight. Back it off till the key comes out. You're done. She's secured on there. I chose these because the, you can't just take a pipe and break this. You're going to have to break the whole stainless steel pin, which that's gonna be hard to do. Well, we finally did it. We got through and this whole place is clean, yay. Uh, we're going to the restore place locally to donate some of the last items and uh, I think we're, we're ready. Last bit of restore stuff. Just gotta figure out how to tie it down. And we've finished our restored deposit, getting rid of some of the last items that we think can be repurposed for other folks. And now it's time to get ready for Sarah's graduation. There are moments in your life that will stand out years from now. This one, I think, is one of those moments. While this is just a ceremony, it's also a great way to physically show what Sarah's done over the past 18 years. And although we joke that she's my mini-me, I'm proud to say she's more like me version two. Smarter, wittier, and stronger than I ever was at that age. I'm thrilled to see her growing into an amazing woman and looking forward to the next 18 years. Go get them, Sarah. So we leave family in Illinois and head to more family in North Carolina. While we haven't had a chance to do as much off-grid camping as we want to, we're certainly taking the extra time to visit family as much as we can. We're grateful we have that opportunity to visit more often. But before we leave Illinois, we've got to get this beast washed. The last time we did this was at Gary's parents almost six months ago.
so much better. Yep, we're on. All right, we're finally ready to head out of Illinois. There we go, the places we go to get ice cream. That night, we stayed at a friend's house. The only pictures we have are of Jake, their dog, who is trying to be so good. This is why we can only fill up the tank halfway. Stopping for the night in North Carolina at a rest stop. Uh, we're one of several folks here, but not too bad. We actually are using our generator tonight uh, since we had the refrigerator on AC instead of using the gas uh, while driving. That basically ate up the juice on our, uh, on our solar panels for the six hour trip. We didn't have a lot of sun. And uh, yeah, so we're having to use the generator. Um, it is 90 degrees-ish, although it is cooling down quickly. So have the air on also. Might as well do it since you got the jetty going uh, to have a more comfortable night. Gary was chatting with the nighttime person and while these spots were designated for RVs, many truckers will tend to use them overnight since this is a small rest stop right before some very windy parts of the interstate. We ended up moving down into the car only section to give the trucks a few more options. It was also a lot quieter down there, a win-win for everyone. Well, we made it to Gary's brother's house where our new project was waiting for us. We're really excited to get going on this big boy. Tune oh, sure. in to next week's video yeah. where we dive into this installation. You didn't wear a dress, did you? Yeah. Going commando is kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, and please help support our channel by subscribing, liking, or commenting. Thanks. I'm totally digging the sunroof here. It's beautiful. <laughs>